All right, folks. So in today's video, what we're going to do is a comparison of these different cores. We have five different types here. And the reason we're doing this comparison is that we are looking at an antenna that would utilize these T130 type 52 powdered iron cores. And what I do have here is them wired back to back. So using our nano VNA, we're going to do an S21 gain measurement, which should measure loss in these cores and test for efficiency. We will be injecting a signal here. It will go up and be processed through this core into this core. So this one would process 50 ohms to 200. This would take 200 out of this one into that one and then back down to 50. And that will allow us to measure our loss. All of these cores are wound in a four to one unun configuration. So this is a Ruthoff voltage unun. The types of cores that we'll be testing are the 130 mix six, 130 mix 52, 130 mix two. These are ferrite toroid cores. These three are powdered iron. For the ferrite toroidal cores, we have an FT140 mix 61. And then here we have a uh, FT140 mix 43. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the results of the efficiency part of the test. PCBWay.com offers 3D printing services that meet your needs. At PCBWay.com, they have over 50 different types of printing machines that can handle your specific project requirements. Everything from FDM or fused disposition modeling down to selective laser synthering. PCBWay.com has every material type that you need. Just make a selection when you're getting your quote. PCBWay.com's 3D printing services are used in just about every industry you can imagine. This is the test setup that we're going to use in order to test these cores. We have it connected to our nano VNA, which is going into our computer. So we'll use nano VNA saver. Signal is going to be coming out of our S11 port or channel zero through our configuration and then back into the S21 port or channel one. And again, we are doing an S21 gain measurement. Okay, so here's the sweep on nano VNA saver and a couple things I wanted to point out. We're sweeping from 1.5 megahertz to 55 megahertz, and this gets us everything from the 160 meter band through the 6 meter band. We have seven markers, one for each band that we're interested in. And then if you take a look over here in the data table, we have various data points for each one of our markers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set this as our current reference. This is the T130-52 core, and then we're going to compare this to a number of other cores. So now that's been set to our current reference, and we'll come back once we sweep a different set of cores. So here we are. The line in blue is our T130-52. The line in green is a T130-2 powdered iron core. And at a glance, and we'll take a more in-depth look at the data in terms of loss, what we can see is that the 52 core performs better all the way from 160 through 10. Above 10, it would appear that the T130-2 core performs a little bit better on 6 meters. Okay, what you can see here is a comparison between the type 53 green toroid and the type 6 yellow toroid both are the size 130 so it's a t130 53 and a t130 6. the blue line depicts the 53 and the green line depicts the type 6 and what you can see is, is that we have better efficiency with the green toroid on all bands with the exception of six meters Okay, the line in blue is the T130-52. The line in green is the ferrite toroid core, and it is a 140 mix 61. And that you can see here, in all cases, it's better. It is slightly better, uh, neg uh, negligible, when looking at 6 meters. And then here you can see the comparison of the ferrite toroidal core 140-43 compared to the 130 type 52. And you can see that the mix 43 is more efficient. 
So here's the data for all of the loss measurements that we took. And you can see that the first column is the toroid and the type is listed in the column as you go down. And then we go across to our bands of interest. And particularly for this antenna that we're looking at, we're looking at 40 through 6. And if you take a look at this, the 61 mix seems to be the best all around, with the exception of 6 meters, where it looks like the 43 performs uh, a little bit better and the 52 performs a little bit better. So what we would say is that the 4361 and the 52 were the top performers uh, of our bands of interest. We are looking at 40 through 6 meters on this. And uh, if you look at 40 meters, I think the biggest difference we have is about 11% between the 61 and the 52. It's about 7% between the 43 and the 52. Um, you can look at the rest of the data yourself and make your own determinations. So here's our top performing cores. We have the 130 Type 52. We have the FT140 Mix 43, and then the FT140 Mix 61. And what I've done for the next test is I've wired to 100 ohm capacitors in series, giving us 200 ohms. So we are going to quickly compare these and compare their ability to transform impedance. So what we should see is a close to one to one across all bands with these different cores. Okay, so we've run our sweep from 1.5 megahertz to 55 megahertz, and we have markers at all of the bands of interest. And we are going to take a look at this sweep, which is the 130 type 52 green toroid core. So when we take a look at our SWR on 160, we are at 2.289 to 1. Then at 80 meters, we are at 1.618. Then when we get down to 40, we are at 1.352. And then we are at 1.2 on the 30 meter band. 20 meters, we are 1.226. And then down here at uh, 21 uh, megahertz, which is uh, 15 meters, we are at 1.183. At 10 meters, we are at 1.167. And then at 6 meters, we are at 1.2. Okay, so here's our comparison sweep. The blue line is the type 52 green toroidal core. The mix 61 is the green sweep. And then you can see on the higher bands, as expected, the mix 61 does perform a little bit better from an SWR standpoint. But at around 15 meters, that starts to change. And then we have a little bit more of a dramatic increase as we go through 10 and 6 meters. And here's a sweep comparing the type 52 green toroid depicted in blue with the FT140-43 depicted in green. And it's a similar story to the 61 core where it performed better at the lower bands, but once we got up to 15 uh, meter band, uh, specifically in 10 and six meters, you see a little bit of a difference in SWR there. All right, folks, so what we're trying to do here is look for a toroid that we're gonna use in a vertical antenna. The vertical antenna is about a 25 foot vertical element with four ground planes of 17 feet each. So there's more to testing than just what we do and see in the lab. And uh, I think that you could make a pretty good argument that the 43 core did best on efficiency and you could make an argument about SWR. But in our field testing, what we've seen is the green toroid has outperformed all the other ones. And that would include the type, the type 6 and the type 2 toroids. So that being said, um, I think we're going to do some more field testing with the green one. As always, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching, everyone.